that Pastor Ezekiel, the Kilifi pastor, who fills stadiums. I believe that guy is a fake pastor. I know, and I know many people are, are not happy that I'm actually saying this. The fact that somebody can perform miracles or the fact that somebody can fill stadiums and his meetings are throngs and multitudes of people does not necessarily mean that those guys are legit. His doctrine is about called Nyota. Nyota. So Nyota is basically, he believes that every human being has got a star. When you make that to a layman, it basically means that everybody has got luck. And I say luck is not universal. Luck basically means that one day some good things just happen to you and some people are not just lucky, you know, another, another. And actually takes things from the Bible, takes scriptures and verses from the Bible and twist them. Says that, oh, people like David has got a star and that's why something, some some crazy things and those are lies the only place in the bible where star is mentioned is when the star is above bethlehem and the people are using it as a compass so that star is actually above bethlehem where jesus is born and it rests there as a sign or as a compass to show them that go there that is where jesus has been born and that's it there's no other meaning for this star. Actually, it could have been moon, it could have been a tree, it could have been anything else. But because the star was in the universe or in the sky, it was easier for them to see that at night. There's no other relevance. Jesus did not have a star. So if you're there thinking that things are not working well, it's basically things are just hard. Even rich people, things are not going on well. It can be a business you've tried and it's not working. It can be a marriage, it's not working. It's not because your star or somebody has stolen your star. Nobody can steal your star. There's nothing like a star. That's what I believe. Later on in this series about spirituality, I'll be able to unravel a few things from the Bible and also bring in some logical things so that you can stay away from such fake and cultic spiritual and religious leaders like Pastor Ezekiel. And I'm sorry I mentioned her name. I had to.